Good morning, everybody on YouTube. What's happening, everybody? Steve Rakin here with Rakin Profit. Coming to you guys with a live video. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 clothing items that you could sell in your eBay business. So what I'm going to be doing is going through these 10 items that I hand chose. I went through the sold listings. I was studying, researching. And these are 10 really cool items that I found where I was like, you know what? This is a great item. Like This is an excellent item that somebody could find and make some good money. So you're going to learn about why I'm going to buy the items, right? The styles, the colors, the designs, what stood out to me. I'm going to talk to you guys about you know, where you could find these items. I'm going to talk to you guys about different selling points, things that get me excited when I come across these items. So Welcome to everybody who is uh, hanging out with me on an early morning live broadcast. It's 9.30 right now. I'm coming to you guys live from Connecticut. Connecticut, I think it's about, I don't know, 10 or 20 degrees out over here. It's pretty cold, so I got the heat blasted. I've got a nice hot cup of coffee, and uh, I'm excited to get through, uh, get, get this show started for you guys and talk about these 10 items. So let me shout some people out real quick, and we'll dive into this show. Get through. <clears throat> All right, we got Rossi Lou. Good morning, Dash Sweezy. What's going on, Dash? OZ Worldwide in the house. Rachel Ann, good morning, Rachel. Hey, Anna, good to see you. Appreciate your enthusiasm. Hey, I got to bring a little enthusiasm, right? 100K sub soon, maybe. One bad go. I do not want to know that it's 78 over there. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> So yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, got a whole bunch of different items I'm going to be sharing with you guys that are really, really cool. So we're going to dive into that. Um, also, I'm not sure if I should share with you guys this right now or not, but uh, let me know if there's any folks in there who are interested in maybe getting in the green room or buying some of my products that have to do with clothing. Let me know because I've got a really cool Black Friday special going on until... I think it ends Sunday. So if you want to check that out, go into the description. If you guys want to know more about that, let me know. Maybe I'll go into it a little bit uh, later on. But let's get this show started, guys. So this is the first item that I uh, I came across, and I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, the brand is Joseph A. Bank. So take a look right here, Joseph A. Bank. There's certain items in this brand that do better than others, but for some reason, suits do really well. Now there's a whole bunch of different uh, kind of like models and different like series within the line. Um, but one thing I liked about this was just the color and design. Like it's got a nice kind of like cream vanilla color to it. Nice clean basic pattern. The picture's amazing. I really love what this uh, seller did with the picture. Check that out. Take note. So they got the clean white background. They've got the nice cream colored Joseph A. Bank suit. They've got the nice dress form mannequin. And what I like too is look, they've got the white dress shirt as a prop with the nice, you know, red tie that really pops out. And they've got a hanger with the actual, you know, pants in front of it. Just a great, just a great overall design. Um, not design. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, presentation of the item. Uh, let me go into this. This is a, a business suit, which does pretty well. Here you go. Check out some of the pictures. So there's the tag. You know, the thing with Joseph A. Bank is there's there's a ton of these items out there, right? You want to look for, you know, colors that kind of stand out. You want to look for the different models. I was looking for the one tag. It doesn't look like it shows. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I was looking for the actual model because I know they have like a business line. They have like a gold. I think it's a signature gold line. Ooh, when it comes to Joseph A. Bank, look for that. Let me show you Joseph A. Bank sig signature gold. This is like the top of the line in terms of the suits that you want to be looking for. So what I'm going to do is go to sold. I want to show you guys this one tag. Okay, cool. So one thing you're going to realize about clothing in general is – there's always a, a, a low, low price and a high, high price based on many factors, uh, auction versus buy it now. Um, 
you know, how well of a presentation that the seller does, right? Uh, the description, all that stuff, their business model. Some people just price items really low. So you're going to see, you know, different suits within the signature gold that might only go for 20 or 30. And then you'll see others that go for 150. So um, you'll see. So here's the tag that I want you guys to be on the lookout for right here. When you are looking for, whoa, what just happened there? When you are looking for the Joseph A. Bank uh, suits, look for the signature gold. It won't let me zoom in. Let's see if there's any other pictures. No, but hopefully you can see that right there. Signature gold. That's kind of like the pinnacle of what you want to be looking for. <laughs> 99 cents. I uh, see here's one for 84.99. Let's see. See, here's one for $59.99. It really just depends on your business model and what you're looking to do. Uh, do you want to move it quickly? How much did you pay for it? You know, there's a whole bunch of different factors. But uh, yeah, this is a great suit right here. Uh, going back to our original listing. Really, the reason why I think they got $79.99 on this is just the color in general. In the presentation, they did a spectacular presentation. Uh, the title's great. They've got the, um, you know, they got the brand. They've got the the model, the business suit right here. They've got the size. Just looking through the description, I like how they have this this image in the uh, description that shows. You know how customers can measure against their measurements, right? So it shows an actual diagram. I think that's pretty cool, right there. Yeah, they've got a lot of measurements. So you know, the more measurements you include, the better chance you have of not getting a return. Eighty people watching live this early in the morning. Good to see you guys. Holy macro! I did not expect to have this many people here. So Cody asked, "Does sport coats alone in Joseph A. Bank do well?" Or just suits. If you could get the Joseph A. Bank 100% uh, camel hair, they do really well uh, in terms of just you know a sport coat. But it really depends. I mean, I think the suits are are better aim. I think you'll typically get more. But again, there's so many different uh, variations out there. So I would just search the sold listings if you're looking for Cody. If you're interested in in, in you know starting to pick up some Joseph A. Bank sport coats without the slacks, you know just the sport coats, go through the sold listings. So good to see everybody in the comments. We got a lot of people here in the comment section. Good morning, good morning. So let's move on to the second item. So that was Joseph A. Bank right there. So this is a brand that you're typically going to find when you're messing around with, you know, shoes, right? Different types of shoes. Uh, Cole Han is or Cole Han. Is very popular with shoes, uh, men's, women's, but you'll also find it every now and then with clothing. You know, I, I deal with men's clothing, so I don't know if it's more, you know, common when dealing with women's clothing. But this is a really cool item right here. This is a Kohan uh, leather jacket. So be on the lookout for this brand. Let me see if I can get you a tag. So this isn't common. You're not going to come across Kohlhan clothing items very often. It's going to be more shoes, and the shoes do very, very well. But just know, I, I want to show this to you guys because I thought it was really cool. Um, you know, every now and then you will find something that is a little more rare. And I mean, leather jacket, Kohlhan, boom, there is money to be made in this item. Let's go through the, uh, the listing a little bit. Kohlhan Cafe Racer Lambskin Leather Jacket for Sale. Comes from a smoke and pet free home, which is important. Originally retailed for 650 bucks. So this thing was definitely expensive. Very cool item right there. So this is really interesting right here because you'll find that outdated sport gear, you know, running stuff, uh, running gear, um, you know, tops and bottoms that men and women used, you know, to run marathons, different themed items like that do very well. And this is a Asics Gore-Tex uh, running jacket. So a lot of people will just pass this up, but for some reason, these Asic items and different, you know, running gear, if you want to call it that, can do pretty well, especially if it's got like obscure colors. 
It's got the hood too. That's really uh, desirable right there. This sold for forty bucks. So I mean, something like this, I could imagine picking it up at a thrift store for like, I don't know, four or five bucks. Selling it for forty bucks. I mean, this I would probably ship it out. It probably wouldn't be first class. It would probably be over sixteen ounces. So I'd probably ship it out in a a padded flat rate for like six bucks, right? So for six bucks shipping, sold it for 40, five bucks in fees, you're up to 11 plus five to buy, 16 minus 40, you're looking at about 24 bucks profit right there. So, um, you know, pick something up like this. I mean, quadruple your money. That's why I love clothing. It's everywhere. It's, you know, it's common at pretty much all thrift stores, garage sales, and there's so many different brands and styles and variations that there's so many opportunities out there. It's crazy. I love it. Next up is a pair of Affliction jeans. Do you guys know this brand, Affliction? Uh, this is a very common brand amongst the uh, the New Jersey Shore <laughs> types of guys. They love wearing this. The, the dudes who are in the gym, they, they love rocking Affliction. It's a popular brand. Uh, more, more known for their t-shirts but they also have a pretty deep line of other types of items as well. And here's an example of a pair of Affliction jeans, flat pocket boot cut style jeans, uh, size 36 by 34. That's over $59.99. You're going to find a lot of these items kind of have like deep stitches with their jeans. Their jeans have these like deep stitching, um, as you can see right here, almost like a uh, – True Religion kind of follows suit in a sense with some of their items. It almost looks faked in a sense. Um, they're going to have the big buttons. Uh, high quality item right here. Very popular. Affliction. Be on the lookout for this brand. I've sold I've sold Affliction jeans a couple times before, and they've always done very, very well. So let's kind of dive through this listing a little bit and evaluate the pictures and, and whatnot. So the picture's, you know, not that great, but... Uh, you know, it does the job. If you have a really hot selling brand, I mean, you don't have to be perfect. So, all right. Yeah, so, I mean, the pictures are okay. I mean, you don't have to be a professional photographer to, uh, you know, sell an item. A lot of times the brands will sell itself. But, uh, yeah, my global garage sale, top rated seller over, you know, 17,000 reviews, which is pretty cool. So it looks like they included a few measurements, uh, measurement across the waist, inseam, rise, and leg opening. So they uh, provided some good measurements. Yeah, cool item right there. Let's go into the comments real quick and see what's going on. So we have 88 people watching live. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully this is helping you to brainstorm ideas. I mean, the main reason why I do these live shows is, you know, especially with the clothing, there's so many items out there. And the more I refresh my memory, the more I kind of, uh, I don't know, better my chances of finding these items. It's, it's It happens all the time where, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about Affliction jeans. I'm studying Affliction jeans. I see it in the sold listings and then boom, I see it at a thrift store. I don't know if it's because I recognize the pattern or the tag or what it is because a lot of times I'm at the point now where I, I'm just flipping through like super fast the clothing. I'm not like going through each and every one because I do clothing on the side. I really don't have the time to be spending two, three hours in a thrift store, you know, six, seven hours a day. So I've got to kind of speed through as quick as I can, which may or may not be the best strategy. Um, but yeah, Cody's saying affliction is very popular with UFC. Just going through the comments. Yeah, so if you guys are enjoying this video so far, be sure to uh, hit that like button, guys. We have 90 people watching live, but only 32 likes. Let's get it up to 70, 80 likes right now. Just do me a big favor and smash that like button. All right. <coughs> this was a cool item, guys. This brand is called Eli Diamond. Eli Diamond with a big old. Is that an eagle or a, what is that? It's a big bird. It's a big bird on top of the shirt getting ready to land and catch its prey. Uh, this is a unique style um, pearl snap shirt right here. It's got this weird little shape on the front with pearl snaps going all around the chest area, going up to the shoulder area. Just unique. I love the, the bird <laughs> embroidery on the front. Uh, I like the Pearl Snap. Eli Diamond is a uh, decent brand for uh, Pearl Snap shirts. 
I'm going to have to talk to the Bonafide Hustler, see what he thinks about this brand. But I've done well. I've done very, very well with this brand. The brand is Eli Diamond. Let's see if we can find the tag. The more obscure, the more unique patterned and designed the item is the the better it's going to do the bland items don't do super well you know if you could find embroideries if you could find obscure colors um weird little designs like this that's where the money is in this brand let's go into the uh, sold listings real quick eli diamond what we could find here all right let's go to the sold listings So you see right here, this is the type of item you want to look for. It didn't sell for that much money, but if you get it for a couple bucks, this is where the money's at. Uh, horrible pictures. Um, so probably could have went for more. It's all blurry. But you see how there's the little embroidery in the uh, top right and left-hand corner of the, the shoulder area? That's kind of the type of stuff you want to be looking for. Next up, hello, Debbie. I don't know what her name is, but I'm just assuming her name's Debbie. Deb. Otum, 2,396 reviews. You know, a great opportunity right now for anyone out there who's artsy and crafty and, you know, likes designing stuff and you're a thrifter. What you could actually do right now is go out to the thrift store and buy yourself a, a sweater, right? It could be a little black sweater, right? And you could put little designs on it, right? Like this woman right here, she put a freaking monkey on it. She put some patterns, uh, little, little, ornament thingamajiggies on there, little deers and weird little things. She sold it for 50 bucks. I mean, imagine, right? Go to a thrift store, pick up a sweater for two bucks, right? Go on a half off day. Then go to the thrift store and find yourself a monkey or something, right? Now you get that for like another dollar or two. You're in it for four bucks. Then go to the dollar store and just pick up a bunch of these little weird little things, right? So you're in it for like another dollar or two. You could find all these little stuffed animals and, and little patches and Santa Claus thingamajiggies for like a dollar. So you're in it for like six or seven bucks, right? Glue it on or I don't know. I'm not artsy crafty, but however you're going to stick all this stuff on with pens or I don't know what you're going to do. Sell it on eBay. These things are selling like hotcakes right now. It's freaking ridiculous. Let me go into uh, Christmas. I was already doing some research on this before. Christmas ugly sweater. I go to sold. These things are selling so fast right now. Let's go to sold listings. See, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about right here. The really wacky stuff. If you could figure out how to get it to light up and stuff, which I don't have any idea how to do. Um, there are people out there who are just like going nuts. It's getting nutty out there. Look at this, guys. Imagine going to an ugly Christmas sweater party and having something like this. I mean, you're going to be a champion. This is really, really cool. Um, let's see if they're selling any more. Let's dive into the sold. Let's dive in behind the scenes of this seller. Oh, yeah, this seller is going to town. So this is a perfect example. This person has got 29 items for sale. If I was to guess, it's probably going to be all Christmas sweaters. Yep, look at this, guys. Now, let's see if they're actually selling. <clears throat> That's the question. It may or may not be selling for the seller. Let's see if the seller is making it work. Let's go to sold listings. Boom. Wow, look at this. November 23rd, $44.95. I don't know how much it's costing the seller to put this together. Maybe 10 bucks or so. 21st, 40 bucks. 21st, 40 bucks. 21st, 44 bucks. 21st, 39 bucks. 20. These things are selling like hotcakes. Bada bing, bada boom. This seller is bringing some profits into the room. This is pretty. Look at. Let's dive into this a little bit. <laughs> what in the world? This guy is going to town. This guy. Oh man. His wife's like Rick. What are you doing in the garage? Making my ugly Christmas sweaters. Uh, this is funny. This is uh, this is really, really, really wacky. This is an interesting little niche right here. I want to go into the comments section and see what you folks have to say about this. Let me refresh the comments. Appreciate you guys smashing that like button. So Sarah VM saying, that's genius. Hey, you know. Hopefully, you guys are finding value in this live video. I came across some sellers selling these uh, ugly Christmas sweaters the other day, and I'm like, wow. 
I should try that. I really should. So anyone out there who's got some uh, free time on their hands, give it a shot. So Carla Jenkins saying, good morning. I have smashed the like button. It's connected to my Twitter so my followers can see it too. That's awesome. Appreciate that, Carla. Everybody smashing that like button. Thank you, thank you. Cool, cool. So uh, can you guys hear me okay? Somebody says my sound is good. I want to make sure that you can hear me okay. Let me do a quick test. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, cool. So it's working. Sometimes there's te technical difficulties going on. So um, since we're halfway through the show, I figured I'll dive a little deeper into the Black Friday deals. Take about one minute. So uh, if you guys are interested, I know a lot of people watching want to join the green room. You know, maybe they want to check out my books. I've got a book called 101 Killer Clothing Brands, 102 Killer Clothing Brands, The Blazing Profits, um, which is a book about how to make money with blazer sport coats and suits. I've got a book on pawn shop profits. If you're interested in any of that, let me make sure I'm on the right page. You could check out the description below. So I know a lot of people want to join the green room. If you want to join the green room, go to greenroomuniversity.com. You can hit this get started button right here. And if you use the code, where's the code? Uh, I already typed it in black Friday. You could save on the yearly membership, I believe you could save 79 bucks. So that deal is going to be going down for about a week. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But let's get back into the show. So Christmas ugly, ugly Christmas sweaters. Ugly Christmas sweaters are definitely an interesting niche. I've never done it myself in terms of like creating my own. But for anyone out there who's artsy craftsy, um, check it out. I mean, these things are selling. It seems the ones that are doing best are the ones that are like weird, ugly, unique designs. So... Um, like this. This is interesting. All right. Yeah, this is cool. This is super cool. Freaky little cat on there. So let's move on to the next item. Uh, oh, here we are. Paul and Shark yachting. I tell you right now, my mouth watered a little bit when I was going through the sold listings and I found this item. Paul Shark and Yachting is a terrific brand. Most common items I'm I'm coming across, and they're actually becoming more common lately. It's weird. I used to never find them, and now I'm finding them like pretty much like every other time I go into the thrift store. Paul Shark and Yachting. Let me get you the tag real quick. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Oh, this will be a little better right there. It's got like a little fish, Paul and Shark yachting. Uh, what got me really, really excited with this item is it was made out of cashmere. Cashmere is a spectacular material, right? I told you before, guys, I was going to talk about material. Material is important. You know, having cashmere versus having cotton could be all the difference in the world. You know, when looking at like a pullover sweater like this one right here. I mean, this item if it was just cotton or wool might be i don't know 20 to 60 bucks but with it being cashmere the value literally increases by you know 100 percent to 400 percent cashmere is an interesting material you always want to double check the items that are cashmere make sure there's no rips make sure there's no holes um for for some reason there always seems to be issues with cashmere so just check it out but uh this item sold for i don't know if it was the best offer or not but it's coming up at 199 bucks. It might have went for a little less, but let's just say it sold for over 100 bucks. Paul and Shark Yachting Cashmere Zip Front uh, Sweater right here, made in Italy. Check that out. Very, very cool. Be on the lookout for Paul Shark and Yachting items. Again, the most co common items I come across in New England are the button fronts, but it, you know, you could find pants, you could find sweaters, you could find pullovers. And you want to know what? I made a mistake. This isn't even a, I thought this thing was like 90% cashmere. It's actually 90% wool. So, wow, that's very, very interesting right there. I don't know why this sold for so much. Let me go into the sold listings and check something out. Go to uh, Paul Shark Yachting, sweater pullover. I want to see if this was an anomaly or what's actually going on here. So this sold for 60, 40, 40, 56. Let's go highest first. 
95. So yeah, I, I wouldn't expect to, to sell those things that much. So my bad about that. Um, but it looks like the sold listings are coming in, you know, around 50 or 60, 40 to 60. If you could find that material, I don't know why that one sold for so much, but anyways, do your research. That's why it's so important before you buy an item, go through the sold listings, right? A lot of people ask me, Steve, how do you do your research at the thrift store? You know, I've got the eBay app, and if I come across a Paul Shark and Yachting sweater, I go to eBay, type in Paul Shark and Yachting sweater. If there's a material that's unique, maybe if it's wool <coughs> or cashmere, I'll just type that in, and I'll go through the sold listings. You don't want to overestimate the value. So right here, I see some that were coming at like 90 or 100, but I see most of them coming in around like 40, 50, 60. You know, I'd evaluate it at 40 to 60 bucks, you know, depending on the color, size, material. Um and then I'd analyze the deal, you know, depending on how much the item is is for sale, condition, um, how many items are selling. You always want to look at the dates. But uh, yeah, Paul Shark and Yachting. Next up to bat, number 47, Loud Mouth. Loud Mouth's a great brand right here. Um, I came across my first, I want to say it was my first Loud Mouth item uh, over the last month or so. And uh, I've got it up listed right now. I think I've got it listed up for like 60 bucks, 50 or no, 40 or 50 bucks plus shipping because it was really unique. If you guys saw my uh, my video that I posted a while ago, I showed that item. But Loudmouth's a great brand. Um, they're known mostly for their golf golfing apparel, like golf clothing accessories and stuff. Um, Really wacky brand, right? Really, really wacky. As you can see, these are some other loudmouth uh, items. They also have pants. I want to find. I want to find some uh, loudmouth pants. That's what I'm in the. <laughs> that's what I'm in the market for. Um, but check out. I mean, these things are wacky, wacky all day long. Loudmouth is the brand. If you ever come across a pair of loudmouth shorts or pants, and I'm gonna just put this number out there for less than ten bucks, ten bucks or less. Buy all day long in good condition because if you could take good pictures and you know go buy it now and wait it out a little bit, I don't see any way you're going to get less than 25, 30 bucks. Um, and as you can see, I mean, these things are going pretty much for all over the – all different prices. It's all over the board. But uh, yeah, very, very cool. Let me see if I could find a, uh, a tag for you. Try to find one. This is really look at this Paisley design right here. New with tags, only thirty-eight bucks. New with tags. I would think it would be going for a lot more. It's weird. Anyways, look it up. I want to keep this show moving. Uh, next item that sold on eBay, sold by five seventy Lisa G. Lisa is a G for selling this item right here. This is a Orvis casual hemp, 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 cotton hemp blend. Uh, $59.99 vest, nice little outdoor hunting vest. Orvis is an excellent brand. I love Orvis. Um, there's so many various items, but they're known for their outdoor gear. There's the tag. Picture's not even that great, right? Not even that great, but just goes to show you don't have to necessarily be a professional photographer to sell items on eBay, right? You know, having a nice dress for a mannequin, having the proper lighting, having a nice clean background. It all works, right? It all helps, right? It all, you know, adds value to the customer. It helps you to get more money, but it's not necessary. Sometimes the item just sells itself. Now, again, who knows? Maybe if I took the pictures of this vest on a nice background, you know, with nice lighting, maybe it went for $79.99. Who knows? I'd have to do more research to see what the value of this actually is. But it sold for $50, $59.99, so, I mean, let's not get greedy, guys. I mean, you could pick items like this up all day long. I mean, if I walked into my local Salvation Army thrift store, there's no way I'm paying more than $7.99 for this, right? Maybe even $2.99. Who knows? But, you know, if you even if you paid up to $10 or $15, bucks, sold this for $50, $60, bucks, you're making some good coin right there. So, Orvis is an excellent brand. Let's critique this listing a little bit. Um, I would take the caps off right here. Just looks a little unprofessional. I'd improve the pictures. Um, some people say free shipping. Some say it doesn't matter. You know, I would probably do free shipping, but you know, I haven't seen a huge difference. Uh, delivery estimated with six to nine days. I do not like that at all. Why is it taking so long? What did they choose? Yeah. So there, here's a big mistake right here that this seller made. 
don't ship expedited. Um, or yeah, don't ship uh, expedited. Is this? I thought it was economy. Hold on one second. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Expedited shipping, U.S. priority, six to nine days. Where are they located? Maybe I'm messing something up. Anyways, let's just pretend that was a scenario. Don't ship economy, right? Ship priority or ship first class because when you're when somebody has to wait two to seven days or nine days, I mean, they're, they're going to pass up your offer. People want items now. So I don't know exactly what's going on down there, but ship priority or first class mail, people do not want to wait. In the comment section right now, I'm going to go into the comment section. I want to ask you guys, what's the most you would pay for this vest? Without doing any research right now, What's the most you would pay for this Orvis vest if you came across it at a thrift store? Right? Let's let's play let's play that scenario. What's the most you would pay? And also, let me ask the question, say yes or no. If this was for sale for $15, maybe you walk into Goodwill, you're going through the racks, they got it in the specialty boutique area for $14.99. Yes, you would buy or no, you would pass. Right. Let's just say that you see that the sold listings are selling for 50 or 60 bucks. Would you buy it or not? Let's see what folks have to say. All right. So Michael, what's going on, Michael? Michael says, I would pay 15 max. So Darren Eckelman says three bucks, the worst gamer too. You resellers are cheap. <laughs> I swear, resellers are the cheapest people that I've ever met. I'm a reseller, and I'm Jewish, so that's even worse. I'm I'm the cheapest guy you'll ever meet. No, but uh, all jokes aside, um, you know you got to be thrifty, right? We're thrifters for a reason. We're looking for a good deal. So, um, so uh, MC Termite says yes, max twenty bucks after seeing that sold one. Oh, okay. So Jane helped me out. Big shout out to Jane. Jane says the reason it's six to nine days is because they have five days handling time. No, don't do that. One day handling time, one or two day handling time max. Do not do five day handling time. Right now, go into your settings, guys, if you're new. And if you're wondering why you're not getting sales, if your handling time is any more than a day, you're probably losing out on conversions. I know a lot of us don't think about it in terms of conversions because we're not running our own site, but me as a marketer, marketer as somebody who does a lot of marketing and you know, I sell my own products and I've built my own websites and you know, I have access to analytics like that. I realize that tweaking little things can make the biggest difference, right? Tweaking little things can make the biggest difference in terms of conversions. And what I mean by that is, say, for example, 100 people visit your eBay store. How many people are buying? If, 10 people vi if 100 people visit your store and 10 people buy, you have a 10% conversion rate. Now, consider that you're doing five-day handling time, right? Maybe you're not taking the greatest pictures. Maybe you're not including measurements in your listing. Excuse me. I got a stuffy nose right now. I apologize. Um, Let's just say that all those things are true and you're converting at 10%. Every 10 people, every 10 people buy for every 100 people that visit. Well, what if you included measurements and then you boosted your conversion rate to 12%, right? What if, uh, you know, you change your handling time from five to one and maybe you boosted it another 3%, you know, that's an extra 5% right there, you know? That adds up. It really does add up and with compounding and cash flow, and all these different things that come into play in a business, conversions are so important. So analyze your business. Analyze, you know, how's your quality of pictures, right? Just improving your pictures alone could, you know, add an extra couple percent in your conversions. Adding good keywords could add a couple percent in your conversions. Maybe free shipping adds a couple percent in your conversions because it helps you to rank in the, in the search engine. And as you know, eBay's algorithm is going to favor anybody who's going to sell more items. And I think by offering free shipping, you are going to sell more items. So again, um, went off on a little rant right there, but uh, conversions are super, super important. <laughs> So the worst gamer says mine is set to two days. Should I make it the same business day shipping? Let me ask you guys a question. To become a top rated seller, do you have to have one day handling time? I forget. Let me know out there, guys. Um, I don't remember. Wow. So JetMD says, when I changed my handling time to one day, 
my sales increased by 10 to 15%. Wow. You guys, we're living in a society where we want it now. Amazon is training people. You know, Amazon, you know, let me put it this way. Amazon is super smart. They're like one of the biggest companies in the world. They always, their number one goal is customer satisfaction, right? Creating value to the customer, giving the customer what they want. When Amazon does something, they don't just do it because they're doing it just to do it. They're doing it because their data is proving that it works. Amazon's not offering one day shipping and two day shipping and, you know, 12 hour shipping and drone delivery and all these weird wacky things that are coming for no reason at all. They have proven with their data and analytics and don't, don't forget, I mean, Amazon's what, one of the biggest e-commerce sites. They have so much data and information. They are giving people what they want. People want it quick. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is if you're offering two-day handling time and then shipping on top of that or three-day or five-day, you're losing out on conversions, bottom line. So, you know, d d definitely do that. Uh, let's move on to the last item. This was a cool little item that I came across. Sold for $34.99, a Fruit of the Loom, kind of like pajamas or long john overalls, whatever these things are called, long johns, I believe. Um, this looks like it's maybe a little outdated. I don't know if this is... Uh, newer or older, I don't know much about it, but I thought it was a cool item. I just want to share with you guys because, you know, what if you came across a pair of long johns, right, at the thrift store for five bucks? I mean, would you pop? Like, before this show, I wouldn't. I would probably just pass on it. Um, but if they were in good shape and I came across them now, I would pop. Um, you know, obviously, I want to do a little more research, but uh, I would pop. So, yeah, those are the 10 items that I wanted to share with you guys that you could, you know, sell on eBay within your eBay clothing business to make some money. These are 10 items that I thought were unique, 10 items I thought would, you know, be able to add value to your life. So when you're at the thrift store, you could actually, you know, be on the lookout for these items. I know I, I know a lot of you folks are, you know, struggling and having a challenge at times with finding items. And, you know, my advice to you is just continue to study, continue to research, continue to uh, – uh, study the sold listings and, you know, believe it or not, you know, I study the sold listings, you know, all the time and I come across brands and styles and different variations of items that I've never even seen before, right? And I've spent thousands and thousands of hours in the sold listings. So stay humble, right? Don't think you know it all because you don't. There's so many items out there within the clothing niche. And, you know, with that being said, there's so many opportunities as well. So, you know, if you're looking you know, maybe if you're looking to get started on eBay and, you know, you don't know what products to start with, give give clothing a shot. You can get it cheap. Uh, it's abundant everywhere. You know, you can find it at thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, um, all over the place, guys. Clothing is everywhere. It's cheap to get into. The risk is low. You don't need a ton of money to get started with it. I mean, as long as you have a phone, some decent light, whether it's daylight or you know, get some daylight bulbs and set it up in your living room or whatever. I mean, you could snap some pictures and have it up for sale. I mean, throw it in a poly bag. I mean, it's easy. It's it's easy to get started with. I think the learning curve is figuring out what to buy and sell, how to price it, how to, you know, take measurements and all that stuff. But um, you can do it, guys. There's a lot of opportunities out there with clothing, and I, I think it's a great opportunity um, for people, right? I was doing it full-time at one point. It was my full-time gig. Now, obviously, I've scaled back quite a bit because uh, – I'm running multiple businesses and, um, you know, one, one cool thing about being an entrepreneur is you can kind of pick and choose how you want your business to work and what you want to focus on. But if you're new and you don't know where to start, I think clothing is, you know, a great opportunity. So So somebody wanted me to review the 10 items. I've, I've already X'd out of them on my tab, so I apologize. If you want to just, you know, in, in about 10 minutes, this, this uh, replay video will be up on my channel. So you can, go, you can go through real quick and review it all, just the different brands and whatnot. So I apologize about that. Some people still use them for the outhouse jet. Uh, Raken, I would love if you can make a short video about keywords. Yeah, I could definitely... Uh, make a video about keywords. That might be an interesting video, actually. So the informer says, my local Goodwill has clothing for $1.23 on Black Friday. Totally stoked. Better get there early. <laughs> 
Texas Gal Treasures, what's going on, Margaret? Good to see you. Everybody go over to Texas Gal Treasures YouTube channel. Smash that subscribe button. So JetMD is saying, Steve, do you iron or steam? Uh, I do have a little, uh, what's the brand called? I forgot what the brand of the steamer is, but I have one of those little standing steamers. Put some water in it. Steam comes out and you know you can steam your items and get the wrinkles out that way. Um, I haven't used it in like a year. I, I haven't had a, a time that I've needed it. Well, to be honest with you, there was one item that I should have steamed a couple weeks ago and I was just lazy and I didn't and I, I just let the brand sell itself. So that might have hurt me with conversions a little bit. I'm not perfect. Um, but I need to bring that upstairs because it's in my garage right now. So I don't have an excuse not to use it. Sometimes I get lazy and I'm like, ah, I'll just, I'm not going to do it. But, uh, yeah, I've got a steamer. Um, it's good to have. You know, sometimes you'll find items that are just so wrinkled and just like just a complete mess that if you put it up, I mean, especially dress shirts, it, it would never sell. So I think it's a good thing to have. Con Air, yep, I think that's the one I have as well. Michael says, just started selling this week. I have listed 18 items in the past week. Thanks for the inspiration, and I look forward to growing my inventory. Michael, congratulations. A couple things of advice. Um, Make sure as soon as you can to get your um, – I don't know if you guys – if if you have a uh, selling limit right now, make sure to get your limits increased. So call on eBay in a couple weeks or continue bothering them and saying like, hey, you know, can you increase my limits because they're going to stop you real quick. They're going to stop you dead in your tracks with a certain amount of money you could sell and a certain amount of items. So stay on, stay on eBay to make sure they lift your uh, – Lift your uh, selling limits. Also, Michael, one thing I want to say is, you know, continue listing, man. I know you're already on it, but there's a strong correlation between how much money you make and how many items you list. So continue listing, continue studying the sold listings, right? Exactly what I did. Go to eBay, go to men's clothing and start studying items. Maybe start with button fronts, then move to dress pants, then may maybe move to jeans and then ties. Start studying the little sub niches within the, the clothing niche. And uh, go out and experiment. Go out to the thrift stores. Get acquainted with your thrift stores. Figure out what thrift stores are best, right? In my little area, I've got a Savers, I've got a Salvation Army, and I've got a Goodwill um, that are within like a mile radius of where I live. Nah, maybe three mile radius. Um, and I know what days to go. I know what times to go. Um, I know what sections to look at. I know what sections are overpriced. I know what sections are underpriced. Um, each thrift store has its own personality, right? Like just like every person out in this world. Some people are nice. Some people are mean. Some people are funny. Some people get upset about certain things. It's the same way with a thrift store. A thrift store has a personality, right? Um, the people who work there have certain pricing personalities, if that even exists in, in terms of thrifting terminology. But each thrift store has its own personality, right? You know, there's thrift stores where I go and the jeans are so cheap. It's almost like, you know, what are you doing putting these diesel jeans in here for $2.99? Whereas you go to a different thrift store and the personality of the jeans section is like, you know what? You better be Donald Trump or else I ain't going to let you afford this pair of jeans. Each thrift store has its own personality. So get to know your thrift stores, right? Go often, go often and, and check out all the different subsections and the different sub niches. <coughs> Steve, same day or one day handling is a requirement for top rated seller seal on eBay. So there you go. I wouldn't recommend same day. I just think that's a little over the top, but I would do the one day handling time. Give yourself a little room for error. So uh, Greg Wright says, hey, during your quote-unquote eBay jail time as a newbie, sell in lots so you can sell more products with fewer number of listings. So that's good. That's good advice right there. I think they are going to put a threshold in terms of your amount, your dollar amount as well. So you might hit your dollar amount before your number of listings. But yeah, try, li try listing in lots for sure. Um, 104 people watching live. So thank you everyone for watching live. Hopefully you're finding value in this, uh, video. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys have planned for Thanksgiving? You going out to your folks house? Are you having Thanksgiving at your house? And also for the ladies out there who are watching, leave a comment below and let me know what is your secret dish? 
what is the dish that you make? Let me put it another way. What's the din the dish? And maybe some men out there are cooking as well. But what's the dish that you put out on the table on Thanksgiving that makes your family go crazy? Let me know. I'm hungry right now. I haven't had breakfast. Get me excited. But yeah, I appreciate you guys all watching. That's pretty cool. Uh, fabric hoarder. I like that name. Is it a good idea to sell? Uh, is it a good idea to tell the thrift shop worker that you are a reseller? Um. I don't think it really matters. I mean, uh, if I had to say yes or no, I would say yes, tell them, uh, build a relationship with them because I can't tell you how many times, you know, I go into the thrift store and, you know, for example, at my Goodwill, I've got one lady, she calls me the YouTube guy. Somehow she knows I'm raking profit on YouTube. And this one Goodwill I go, they all know what I do. And they're always helping me out. Like, Hey, video games just got put into the, into the uh, blue cart, it's out back, or you know, they just brought out all this new clothing, or you should check out those jeans. So, I'd say yes, you're gonna find some kind of uh, I don't know, people who don't really like what you do. Um, I feel like the Salvation Army, not all of them, but like if I had to choose a thrift store that doesn't like resellers, <laughs> I, I don't know why, but the Salvation Army, I had a conversation with a woman the other day, and she's like ranting on and on about like. We were just chatting. She didn't know I was a reseller. I don't think she did. She's like, it's really wrong what these resellers are doing. They're coming in here and they're buying items and they're selling them for a profit. And um, it was a little deeper than that because what she was saying was like some resellers come in and they ask for like, hey, it's five bucks. Can I get it for two? And they give them a deal and then they find out they resell it. They, they weren't a big fan of that, but um, I don't know. Let's, let's, not, let's not dive into that rabbit hole. Oh, wow. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, I just got an offer on my loudmouth uh, pants for twenty-five bucks. I'm I'm gonna reject that offer though, because I'm confident I could get at least forty bucks for these because of the design. Um, so let's see what everyone has to say. I want to see what what specialty dishes you guys are making out there. Forty. Real mac and cheese and real mashed potatoes. Woo, Mr. Sadie, you better save me some. Some of that. Uh, let's see. Sausage stuffing. Very interesting. Fried turkey. Fry. How do you how do you fry a turkey? Those things are huge. Does eBay count Sunday as shipping? No, I believe they only count shipping Monday through Friday, right? So I think I think that's the case. That's the way I've been doing it for years. So um, hopefully I haven't been screwing up. I sell books when I'm sourcing. I scan the books, but clothes, how do you do it? Well, I actually just released a brand new clothing scanner. So um, if you go into the description, it's a software I've created, and you scan a piece of clothing, and it tells you how much it's worth. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm sorry. I had to go there. <laughs> I'm just messing around with you guys. Would you guys buy that, though, if I came up with a proprietary software where you know how you scan barcodes what if you scanned a clothing tag and it came up with the price how crazy would that be <laughs> no it's not necessary though i use a sold listing so what i do is i look up the brand i look up the you know any any uh anything that has to do with with the clothing item that stands out like the material the size the design so for example say i found the willis and geiger um a Willis Geiger sweater. I would type in Willis Geiger sweater extra large and I'd look it up that way and, and, and go through the sold listing. So don't tell Target you are a reseller. You would get kicked out. Yeah, Target hates resellers. So, I, you know, if you are selling on Amazon, you can sell new with Tags Clothing, right? So you can get yourself the uh, the Scoutify app if you have Inventory Lab and scan your, your clothing tags that way. But if the item doesn't have a tag, you're not going to be able to uh, scan it. Darren says, Steve, buy a big pot and use peanut oil. <laughs> that sounds delicious. So someone says fried turkey is okay, but I like mine smoked. So Bubba, it looks like you got some competition in the comment feed. Uh, De Devesto Vision, hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. If I didn't, I apologize. Says, I make the best mac and cheese ever. So we might have to have a mac and cheese face-off to see who makes the best. Crafty Caregiver says, I let them know. That I'm a reseller. I save the money because I am a reseller. I don't have to go on welfare. They are ha happy to help. Wait, hold on. What? 
I don't know what that means. Uh, they're happy to help and give me a discount to help me out. Okay. I thought you were telling them that you're on welfare and you need to give me a discount because I'm going to resell it. I wasn't sure how that came out. I think I read that wrong. Hey guys, don't forget to sell used toilet paper tubes. Seriously, they're free to use. Free to you and crafters and art teachers will pay. Are you serious? Is somebody messing with me right now? Toilet paper tubes? Let's look that up. I, I, have, I don't know if he's messing with me or not. Toilet paper tubes. Can you see my screen? Yes, okay. Why Are you serious? Hold on one second. Let's go to sold. Shut up. <laughs> what? No freaking way. Oh my god, these things are actually selling like hotcakes. A lot of 118. How much would that cost to ship though? That's what I'm wondering. Are you kidding me? No freaking way. <laughs> this is a lot of 118 empty clean how he had to put in that keyword right there this is this isn't a this isn't a lot of 118 dirty toilet paper cardboard tubes 118 empty clean toilet paper cardboard tubes plus four empty clean paper towel cardboard tubes i'm going crazy right now guys are you serious this is wacky this is <laughs> let me go to uh let's have some fun let's go to uh uh price plus highest shipping first oh my gosh 350 toilet paper empty carton tubes wow that's that's freaking wacky i don't even know what to say now i know i now i guess i'll be having a box set outside the door of or in the garage of uh a, a big box in my garage to throw all my empty tubes and i i don't know if it's worth it or not though let me let me know what you guys think Greg, appreciate that. Greg, I thought you were playing me for a sec. <laughs> I just think of grossness on them. I mean, mistakes happen. Uh, new to UCT says, Jonathan, I learned how to sell clothes from Rakin's channel, and then I taught, then I taught him about Amazon. Uh, my buddy makes me mean lobster mac and cheese. So... Yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button below. There's a little thumbs up, and then there's a little thumbs down. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like this. If you didn't like it, feel free to hit a thumbs down. But just let me know what I could do in the future to you know, improve these videos and add more value to your life. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to serve you and, and you know, make content that, that helps you out and helps you to grow your business or maybe just entertains and inspires you. I think it's really important that we all stick together and you know, if you want to grow your eBay business, consume content around your eBay business. It's going to help you a lot. Um, but yeah, hit that like button. I definitely appreciate that. Again, if you guys want to pop on the Black Friday deals that I am offering up until Sunday, check out the comments below. I've got a 40% off coupon for you guys to join the green room. So to go to greenroomuniversity.com and then you can hit buy it now and then get that or you can just check out the description below. Use the code Black Friday. That's 40% off. I'm doing 60% off of a 101 plus 102 killer clothing brand. Uh, that's a lot of two ebooks e that I've created. And 60% uh, off of that. So that's a killer deal. I don't think I've ever done it that cheap. I also have 60% off my pawn shops ebook um, and audiobook. It's actually the full package bundle. So I created a book that teaches you how to make money from pawn shops, which is uh, definitely a interesting and lucrative opportunity right there. So 60% uh, off that as well. And last but not least, my full program called the Blazing Profits Training Program. Blazing Profits, that's 60% off. So uh, that's a 272 page ebook. That's a bunch of videos. That's a bunch of interviews, templates, different things like that. Um, that's 60% off as well. So if you guys want to check any of that out, you know, feel free to uh, check in the description below. 
these are all tools to help you out. There's so many things out there, guys, to help you, right? There's books. There's free YouTube videos. There's Facebook groups, paid, free. There's eBooks that I've created. There's you know all these different things. Or just spend your time to go out there and study. But uh, there's a lot of tools out there, guys. There's no excuse for us not to uh, be starting and or growing slash making money in our eBay business. There's so many opportunities out there, and and, and I focus mostly on clothing when I make these videos because that's what I enjoy. You know, I've made videos about glassware. I've made videos about uh, electronics, but. <laughs> It doesn't excite me. I don't know why. Clothing gets me excited. I, I, I'm very good with clothing. I know a lot about it. I've sold thousands and thousands of pieces of clothing. And that's just kind of the one thing I stick with in terms of bread and butter. But you could, you know, you could, you know, you can go out and, you know, branch off into other niches as well. But uh, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy selling uh, toilet paper tubes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, I love clothes. So find what you love. Go out there, study, research, educate yourself. Uh, but with that being said, thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Leave a comment below. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Black Friday. Hopefully you find some really good deals. I know there's a lot of Black Friday deals out there for us resellers. So go out there. You know, Get yourself a treat. Also buy some stuff to resell. Have a great Thanksgiving with your family. Make today the day that you do what you know you need to do. Start your business. Get moving in the right direction and, and go make it happen. So thanks for watching, guys. Signing out. Have a good one.